2011 Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show in Daytona Beach, Florida. We're talking with Margaret McCasty from CNC Cycles. And Margaret, tell me about yourself, please. Well, I've been riding for 22 years now, and this is one of three custom Harleys that I have. Um, as you can see, magenta is my favorite color. And um, so this is my 04 Ultra Classic that was designed by my husband, Roy. Let's start from the beginning. What were you trying to accomplish with this build? Actually, I wanted a motorcycle that had the capability for saddlebags. Um, didn't like the big, frumpy tour pack on the back. Wanted something that was very low profile, low to the ground since I'm short. Um, so this is a design that we came up with that was pretty sleek. Um, did a few modifications to stretch out the tanks and the side covers and to let it flow pretty much to the design that we were looking for. What is the vision for your bike? Um, I wanted something with a little bit more horsepower, so we started with a Screaming Eagle 103. Um, we converted to a closed loop system. We gave it a bigger throttle body. Um, so I wanted something that was sleek and fast, and this is our finished product. Let's talk about the fabrication. Let's start from the beginning. Let's start with the front wheels and brakes. Okay, um, the front wheel is an 18 inch weld racing. Um, we have a hidden axle on the lower legs. Um, we have a modified front fender. As we move towards the frame front of the motorcycle, um, we have internal wiring. The frame is molded. Um, the coil was removed from the front. We have internal wiring and the crossover tube is hidden underneath the gas tank. Um, my husband designed these custom mirror mounts on the fairing. Um, also, there is a custom ignition plate that is chromed. Um, we went ahead and modified um, the gas tank to make it stretched. We have a custom dash that we made. Um, we have a custom seat. Uh, because I'm short, we needed something that was a little bit more low profile and easy for me to touch the ground. Um, we have custom oxygen sensors. Um, we have bottom floorboards that were customized. We have designed a voltage regular cover. So it is pretty much molded into the frame. Looks all as one piece. We have modified the side covers. They are stretched. Um, as you can see, we have a, a modified fat bagger fender. It's been modified so you can't see through the sides of the rear fender itself. It's all enclosed. Um, we have stretched saddlebags. We have custom exhaust tips, a custom hidden LED license plate that's in the rear fender. And um, that's pretty much it. Let's talk about the engine. Oh, it's a 103, right? Yes, it's a Screaming Eagle 103 that's been modified. The heads were ported and polished. We have a bigger throttle body, a 50 millimeter throttle body in there with the Thundermax closed loop system. Oh, okay. uh, what about your exhaust system? The exhaust system is um, Reinhardt Tool Duels, um, and we have custom made exhaust tips, so they are slanted and in line pretty much with the rear saddlebags and fender. What was your approach on paint? Um, pretty much Roy did all the designing. I um, have a favorite color of magenta, so this design he pretty much came up with. Um, it has little flakes of magenta and silver inside the paint also that you have to really look pretty close if you're outside it pops a little bit better than it does inside these fluorescent lights. Who would you like to thank on this bike? Um, pretty much just my husband. He's the one that's been all the time on here. Um, one of the mechanics at the shop, Larry, he works with him. He's seen lots of frustration and time going into this and um, pretty much just Roy and Larry. If somebody would like to get a hold of you, how would they do that? Um, they can either call us at the shop at CNC Cycle in Severn, Maryland, or we have a website, which is www.candccycle.com. Margaret, thank you very much.